Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There will be times when you need to enter information into your company file that may not have an associated form. For example, this could occur if you treated the office to a pizza party and you used petty cash to pay for it. You can create a journal entry to account for these types of transactions. To create a general journal entry, click the Create icon and select the Journal Entry link from the other heading. On the Journal Entry page, enter the date of the transaction into the Date field. You can enter a journal number to identify the transaction in any reports. In the Account column, enter the first account affected by the transaction. Traditionally, you enter debits first. However, as long as you perform double entry to ensure that the credit and debit amounts that you enter balance, it really doesn't matter whether or not you enter the debits or credits first. After selecting the account, enter the associated amount for that account into either the debit or credit column as is appropriate for the transaction you are recording. Enter a description for the line into the description field. Finally, if there is a vendor or customer associated with the transaction, you can choose those from the drop-down lists within the name column. Finally, if there is a vendor or customer associated with the transaction, you can choose them from the drop-down list in the name column. Then repeat this process for all of the other accounts that are affected by this transaction. Ensure that you have listed the correct accounts affected, the correct amounts, and that the total amounts within the credits and debits columns are balanced. When you have completed your entries, choose a Save option to save the journal entry and close the page, or open a new journal entry page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.